This video is going to show how to update the HackRF uh, firmware for the, um, the one that has the Portabac H2 functionality. I'm not sure if it, it works with all the Portabacs and all, but this is like a clone from Aliexpress. I'm going to link the specific clone I have in the description. Um, first you need the files. Uh, I, I'm also going to link the GitHub page with the releases in the description. These two files, um, the no SD card and the only SD card, this is for your, of course, for the SD card, you need also that. And the other one contains the firmware. <coughs> so, the other one looks like this. After you unpack the files, there is a, a couple of scri scripts and the firmware itself. So, first is to connect the portapack. Um, you may want to try several USB cables until you, you find one that is uh, working perfectly with your un unit. This is the one that uh, was included in the Aliexpress. For some reason it doesn't work with, um, like, S if I run some software like SDR Sharp, um, it gets sometimes disconnected. So, I have a small... A shorter one that works all the time. I don't know where, where it is. Anyway, um, so you power your um, and in this moment you might have um, a couple of conditions. It might not do anything in the screen. It might show um, old firmware or the new one. So in, in my case it's not showing anything and Windows is not detecting anything as you can hear. So you might want to check the USB. I already checked that, so it's not that. You can do, you can start thinking on the DFU recover. So let's see. In the device manager, I don't have the HackRF here, so I need to do the DFU recover in the file, in the folder that says no SD. You go to DFU, that one execute that and it tells you what to do so it says hold down both of the so I have a label with the buttons reset and DFU I hold both then it says release reset release DFU uh, now you can see there is a LPC device. We can continue there here. And it says now that I have a hacker F1. So I can continue. Um, if you don't have um, the hacker F1 device, after trying the FU recover, you can try with Sadi. This is that tool. Um, here, you go to options, list all. Try to find your HackRF. And it has to use that device, the one that says Win USB. And then you press up update, upgrade. So you look here for the right one. It has to be that one. In this case, I don't need to do that because it's already there. Um, the second option, if you still get fails after doing trying to do the recovery or the upgrade, you go here, click in update driver, and you don't do the automatic one. You do the manual, browse, here, instead of doing like the browse again, you click in let me pick. I have a disk. And here you provide from the folder of no, no SD cards, no SD card files. There is a folder that says driver. So you copy that path to the driver installer here. Uh, you can also select the specific one here. Hacker F1. 
Okay. And this is the one you are going. Sometimes Windows install installs a uh, like a valid one, but it's a newer one that fails with the installation of the new firmware. So you do that. No. So these are the the four steps you might try, and you can repeat them until you get the unit working. Um, USB, DFU, SADIC, and the driver. After you get the thing here listed on the device manager, you can go here to your files and run the one that says uh, Flash Havoc. That one. Uh, it says to connect the thing. You wait for a couple of seconds. It says finish, disconnect, and reconnect. So we can disconnect now. Reconnect. Oops. And now I have the new one. And just to show the, uh, if you already have that, and you you don't see the device here, the first step before upgrading with the tool is selecting HackerF. It might look different. It might might look as a list if you have a super old version. So you go here, and then you have the HackerF here, and you can run the installer. So those instructions are when you have problems. If you don't have problems, uh, you have to select the HackerF mode. If you have problems after selecting the HackerF mode, you might try the driver replacement or Sadik, one of those, uh, and also the cable. But this is not required. If you if you see something when when you connect the or you hear the activity of Windows uh, detecting a device, you don't do that. 